today we are gonna fix low flow here. So what I'm doing is taking some pliers here and I'm putting a rubber band on to protect that a little bit as I remove it. Just keep from getting scratched, it's already kind of goobered up, but we'll put these on, kind of give it a little cushion. Help if you go the right way. Let's take this off here. So what happens is you get a lot of like deposits and silt and stuff in these screens and it makes the flow a lot less. So we're gonna clean these out and then we'll get a lot better flow and it'll be a lot more aerated because the aerator will be working properly again. So I'm gonna brush this out. Um, you do that just by gently popping it out of there and you can take these apart actually and kind of rinse them out and get it all cleaned up. What I'm doing here is just kind of using the bristles to poke any deposits that are stuck in the little openings. Just kind of poking them out of there. Rinse them out here again. If you want to get real adventurous, you can actually, you can pop these caps off and clean on in between. I don't think we're gonna do that today because I don't think it needs it. But there's actually um, additional screens and stuff underneath here that you can try and get at if you really, really want to clean pretty deep. Or if you don't even feel like cleaning, you can buy new ones of these at like Home Depot or Lowe's. They're pretty inexpensive. And you just pop them in and then uh, screw it back on. For those that are interested in taking this little cap off. The easiest way to do it is just take your uh, pliers you were using, give it a little squeeze, and it'll pop right off. Now you can use this and brush in here, get any more uh, deposits out, and clear all of the openings. Easy, easy. And you can go on to dissect this even further, but this is looking pretty good. It's looking pretty clear when I hold it up to the light. So I think we might be all right. Might give it a couple more passes here. If you've got hard water or old pipes, you're gonna find that these holes tend to fill up quite a bit more and get blocked. And you'll probably have to do a little, little bit of work on these more often. You have to be gentle when you're kind of popping that thing apart because they are made out of plastic, so. They will tend to kind of break or snap if you squeeze too hard. Some of these little clips will, and you won't be able to put it together and you'll have to go buy a new one anyway, which kind of defeats the purpose of uh, cleaning it like we're doing. But as you can see, you can kind of, you can take this apart and there's several, several layers here. I mean, there's four different layers. All that's meant to catch deposits and stuff from your, from your pipes primarily stuff, larger solids coming through. Keep that from getting in your water. These are looking pretty good. We'll give them a quick rinse. Be sure to remember the order that they came out in. We've got a large screen there and then it, the finer screen. Again, large and fine with the plastic. And these slide down in here. 
maybe. We might have bent them a little bit when we did the, uh, the squeeze. I'm gonna do them one by one here, get them back in properly. They've got little teeth on the side of them that have got to go in these grooves. I don't know if you want to see what I'm talking about. There's the little teeth and there's little channels on the side of this. You gotta get that into. If you take it all the way apart like this, some of you may not have to, but if you haven't done this in a while, if ever, it might not be a bad idea to try and gently take it apart. Now, if you've got a real old one, it may come apart on you when you try to do this, if it's real, real old. This is a newer style, but there are some older ones that are primarily metal, and I've had those come apart on me just completely whenever I do this. And actually, let me pop that back off there again. If I can. Ah, shoot, that was a little hard. I may have just cracked it. I definitely bent the, uh, the metal screen a little bit. Whoops, it'll be all right. We'll just kind of reshape it there a little bit. That's what I was talking about, you gotta be careful. And it would have been fine that way, but I wanted to uh, get the red cap. I wanted to get the channels correct on it. it could potentially help to have a little screwdriver while you're doing this or a pocket knife so you can kind of line these up if they get out of alignment. But that doesn't look too bad. It looks only sort of bent. <laughs> It'll be fine. Let's see what I was talking about. I want to get these little red tabs just like the ones before. Get them lined up on the channels there. That way you have these slots on the side open where you can see through. Just like that. And put on the little umbrella deal and we're good to go we're all cleaned out let's slide it back in here there's the finished deal and then tighten it back on hopefully we get better flow all right it's tight one of my rubber bands came off but that's all right there we go it's flowing much smoother i've actually got that that side of the valve turned pretty low so that's why that one's low that one's just about right. And you see it's a nice, smooth water column again. Because we fixed that aerator. So, quick fix for you guys. If you're having some uh, like weird sputtery kind of water right here, or low flow, check that out first. That can sometimes be a big issue.